some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Michigan once again with a more soft tart who is at a pre-trial hearing uh, regarding uh, his bond and... Uh, Issues with armed robbery. Uh, and yeah, he has an unusual request that he tries to place upon the judge, but it really doesn't work out in his favor in this particular occasion. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? All right, the gentleman at DDC, who's next? DDC. Say your name. The owner of the gas station. Say your name. Now, my property is yeah, yeah. Armand Traffic Bay. That's my property. How oh, did you see she? I'm hard. 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 Yeah, you'll represent yourself, uh, even though you don't understand the law or anything like that. Especially since you just uh, called your arrest kidnapping. Yeah, you'll do real great, won't you? Can you please say your name? My father is Quincy Armand Travis Bay. It is no my name, it's my car. Ah, Quincy Travis Bay, sir? That's Quincy Armand. With a D, Travis Bay. Okay. That's my job. Thank you, Mr. Travis Bay. No D. Miss Shot, have you spoken with Mr. Travis Bay? Because he said he spoke with someone. I don't. There's that person. He's on the defense counsel. Could you take him off the camera of men's two, please, DDC, and put him on camera four? Because he has not spoken with Miss Shot. We need to speak with him. He said he spoke with someone. What's his? He's number nine. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to be uh, bypassing the court. No breakout room. A little longer than a few minutes later. What's your name, sir? Last name again? Is your last name Carter, sir? Yeah. Oh, first name is Carlton? No, sir. I mean, no, ma'am. His first name is Quincy. Quincy Travis Bay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Mr. Travis Bay, this is Magistrate Echartea. Not only are you here on criminal matter, but you're also here on Mr. Meter matter, where you did not show up for court. These Mr. Meter matters, you're going to get a personal bond where we're calling the warrants. Uh, you're going to uh, nobody has paying money for you to get out of jail. Maximum penalty up to 93 days jail and or $500 fine. First ticket and only ticket is P1587822. Driving under a title vehicle, no insurance misdemeanor. I'm going to enter a plea of not guilty. Okay, okay. Driving with no title on your vehicle. Uh, I wonder what you'll have to say for yourself. I mean, this should be quite interesting. Court date is November 7, 2024. Pre-trial in front of Judge Ruth Garrett. Uh, Mr. Travis Bay, you have a right to remain silent. Anything you say, orally or writing, it can be used against you in a court of law. Right to an attorney, have that attorney present during questioning. If you're unable to court an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Court expense. Understand those rights, sir. I'm just a time 42 attorney appointed. I'm trying to 42 lawyer that could be appointed to me. I can understand that. Oh, you want to declare Title 42, okay. Uh, so you're pretty much saying that you were never a U.S. citizen to begin with? Okay. I know you Moors are damn stupid, but uh, that means you would get deported to uh, another country. And if you were born in this country to begin with, which country would you be deported to anyway? Yeah, because, you know, that'd be kind of confusing to you. Uh, should you be deported to a country that you have no idea how to deal with, such as Honduras? 
But I understand everything okay. you said. As long as the title okay, order, thank you. Mr. Travis Bay, let me tell you the criminal matter. Case number 2405986501. You have an attorney. Council Reagan, is that you? Your Honor, I'm speaking on behalf of Mr. Quincy Travick Bay, Your Honor. Um, I was able to tell Mr. Bay of, of what he's charged with, armed robbery, the maximum penalty. Um, and Vice Judge, I would ask the court, well, let me, let me stop there and I'll let the court proceed. Ah, no wonder this uh, moronic Moore Savtard is trying to declare Title 42 in this particular case. He's been charged with armed robbery. Now he thinks that uh, he could probably uh, get that granted or something like that so he can be deported to another country, even though he's most likely a U.S. citizen. Uh, yeah, dude, uh, I don't think that's going to really work out for you. Counsel, you wait for me to stand you. Yes, Judge. Thank you. I'm going to enter plea of not guilty. Court dates are October 16, 2024. It is a probable cause conference. Filed by preliminary examination October 23rd, 2024. Both matters are in front of Judge Jefferson. Mr. Travick Bay, there's some bond conditions, sir. One is you're not to possess any firearms or any other dangerous weapons, including knives, machetes, pepper sprays, uh, Tasers. No you are not I to have, have any contact on a Ferris Mohammed. That means no person to person contact, no contact to third parties, no phone calls, no Ready. emails, no text messaging. Let's see. He stole my money. He was right behind his car on the camera. And he told me to leave. And I did what he said. Okay. Mr. Okay. Mr. Traffic Bay, Mr. Traffic Bay, everything is being recorded. Please don't say anything about the alleged incident, sir. Seriously, are you that freaking stupid? Oh, wait. Yes, you are. You're a Moorish sovereign citizen. You are that stupid. You really might have just incriminated yourself in this particular case. So keep your dang mouth shut until the trial. Go do yourself a favor and hire an actual attorney rather than a, one that you claim is a F Title 42 lawyer or something like that. Somebody who will actually help you out of this case. Appreciate it. And please. Oh, you are not to go to the location 807 mile. Do you understand those bond conditions, sir? Okay. All right, Captain Coyle, go ahead and ask the bond, please. Uh, yes, Your Honor. The people in this matter are asking for 75,000 cash surety to their house arrest. Uh, people know that this is all uh, recorded on a video that Mr. Travis Bay was in uh, at the gas station harassing com customers. The complainant asked him to leave. He displayed a knife and threatened to kill him more than one time. He then proceeded to take items from the, the gas station convenience area at knife point. The police arrested him shortly thereafter with the items and the knife. The complaint identified him as Steve. I do note that Mr. Travis Bay has a history of drug offenses as well as a 1994 great bodily harm, two counts in which he did prison time. He was eventually, his last time of being on probation or parole was May 5th of 23. I believe that um, it appears that Mr. Uh, from the file as well as from the arraignment today, that Mr. Travis Bay may uh, suffer from some mental issues. Based on that, it, um, the assault of allegations set forth, I'm asking for that. And his prior uh, assault of record, I'm asking for that cash surety bond with the Tether House arrest. And of course, don't contact with the gas station and the computer. Right. Person lying. Go back to that location. Is that correct, Counselor Coyle? Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. Judge, he won't go back to that location. Just said he won't go back. We're, we're, asking, never go out, we're asking for seventy-five dollars personal bond with the GPS tether and the. Uh, I would note that he is forty-eight, lives lives in the city, uh, so he has ties to the community. Judge. Um, he does have priors, as Mr. Coyle did say, uh, you know, but uh, but I understand it, 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 it seems menacing, but it's very dangerous, Judge, whenever you talk about a alleged weapon, I do understand that. But 
as Mr. Uh, Travis Bay said, he did not go back, have no contact. Uh, and if you put him on house arrest, you can't go out the house. So I would ask for the personal bond, personal bond for him uh, with whatever conditions the court. Uh, Thank you. And the court will know that the charge of bomb robbery falls under the court rules 6.106, where this case can be remandable. Nobody is asking for remand on the people's side, but they are asking for a monetary amount. The court uses clear and convincing evidence standard. The court had the opportunity to look at the investigator's report. Allegedly, while the incident is caught on CCTV footage, Supposedly, they observed a knife in Mr. Travick Bates' hand. Allegedly, and the, the allegations are is that he threatened to kill at least one individual. They tried to stop him because he had some, he had just stolen some uh, multiple items. Let's see what else. Do I stop the police? If the owner told me to leave, usually I wait for the police to get there. He said, me. I said, okay, my bike was gone. You suck. Dude, do yourself a favor and stop talking because you are just not that bright and you might end up incriminating yourself at this point, you morish idiot. Come on now, dude. You need to you just keep your damn mouth shut. Use the, use the Fifth Amendment. Do that. At least do that, okay? You don't need to say anything more, please. Okay. Okay. The court uses right. clear and convincing evidence standard. The court is going to adopt the recommendation, $75,000 cash surety. We're not going to place a GPS tether on Mr. Travick Bay. This is an unaffordable bond, Councilor Reagan. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. Okay, that means he's going to get another court date this Friday, October 11th. Okay. In front of uh, Friday, October 11, 9 o'clock, in front of Judge McConnell or Judge Williams, who look at the bond amount and bond conditions. Do I get a personal bond now? No, sir. You're no. getting another court date in which the judge, judge is going to be looking at the bond amount or bond conditions. Can I get the bond personal release so I can get out of here and see my No, sir. No, sir. You're getting another court date this Friday. That's days away. In the court day, this Friday. Can I get a personal bond, Mr. Travis Bay? Thank you, sir. You can step aside. Come on, man. Let's go. Well, that's the end of that one right there. But in case you're wondering, the bond amount was upheld and uh, the tether was imposed. So the idiot is under house arrest at this point until his trial at the very least. So you're a real winner right there, you moronic lead paint drinking more soft tart imbecile. Okay, then. Yeah, good luck with your trial. Hopefully you'll win with uh, you going pro se and everything like that. But I really doubt it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?